apologize on, on behalf of Matt. On Mem. behalf of Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of men, happy Father's Day. And if you've lost a father, like we all have, mm -hmm. it's not so happy. <laughs> or if you just have an absent father who's a piece of shit, then um, your father's just dead to you. So. Yeah, which is also kind of equally bad. Like it's valid. Feel, we're here to hang out and eat some food and spend some time with each other so that we can spend some time with you. And today doesn't feel quite as lonely or sad or or annoying. And by the way, if you do feel sad, feel free to feel your feelings. We're not telling you not to feel that. Yeah, but, but you should also eat your feelings. Absolutely. There's nothing that drowns sadness better than cheese. Yes. You guys know I am Irene. Thank you for tuning in and especially thank you for tuning in to me and my two new friends. Well, you're not my new friend, but yeah. you're my new friend. I'm a new friend. Hi. I'm an Hi. old friend. I'm, we... I'm Nicole Amy Schreiber. Hi guys. I'm a comedian here in Los Angeles. She's very funny and very pretty. Yes. And nice. we're, we met 20 minutes ago and she already gave me a hug and I've cried in front of her. So. I'm sorry. Go ahead. It's a, I mean, and it's, I interrupted it's fine. I'm pretty you. excited. I'm a nightmare. I, uh, Speaking of nightmares and awful people, we have our... <laughs> <laughs> we have a fan favorite, Lindsay Adams here. Lindsay, what do you do? Who are you? Hi, little you? babies. Hi, I'm Lindsay Adams. I am a comedian. I am a baker. And I also have a YouTube channel that you can check out. So, <laughs> she referred to me because my dad died in October. Her dad died a while ago. When did your dad die? My dad died almost 10 years ago. Okay, cool. Which is very weird. Oh God, How about yours? 10 years ago this year. 2011 was tricky for a lot of it people. It was a very tricky year. You guys, year. I feel like you're jumping me in to the Dead Dad Club right now. Well, well, this is your inauguration. Honestly, get your feet wet because okay. it's not going away, mm. unfortunately. <laughs> yes. Okay, so the first year, you are allowed 100%. Everything is because of your Dead Dad. Yeah, everything. Ever, well, literally everything. And the first year is so tricky because it's like your first Hanukkah without him, your yeah, first yeah. birthday without him, your first yeah. birthday That's what everybody without him. says. It's like you're it's you have two parts of your life. You have your life before your dad and then you have your life after your dad. It's like yeah. Yeah. it's every experience is a brand new experience. Absolutely. Like I got right. my period after my dad died. That was my first period without a father. Yes. Mm -hmm. exactly. It was very important. What kind of doctor is your mom? Oncologist, hematologist, internal medicine. She does cancer. Well, I could have fucked you. Yeah, where was she? Told me ago. you had known me ten years ago. No, he was given a year, and it was like almost a year to the day. Wow. So there's like some weird comfort in that. Mm hmm. But at the same time, it was like a little. I. I mean, I feel like it, you're not supposed to feel any certain way mm -hmm. when someone passes. Yeah. I remember the first time I told, like a teacher was asking me or something. It was like the first two weeks of my senior year, my dad died. So I had to, you know, come back to school, tell all the teachers, whatever. And I remember a teacher was asking me, like, what happened? First of all, no. You don't have to answer shit. No. If somebody, oh, when him and your dad, oh, 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 fuck you is what happened. You don't yeah. have to say anything unless you're comfortable, unless you want to. But it was the first time I was saying it because at this point it had been like a week and a half and I had told a thousand people, mm -hmm. oh, he died. Right. Oh my God, what happened? This, 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 and this. Right. It was the first time I said it without crying because I was just like so used to just like spitting out this script that I had. Right. And I felt like a monster. I was like, I just told I, the story of my father dying and I didn't cry. Like, mm. I'm a horrible person. And it's like, like you're at an age where it's like, you don't know to let yourself off the hook. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. You don't have the self-care skills to navigate that situation. Yeah. And so like, if if this is something you're going through or it's something you're familiar with, just like, just like we're all saying, you don't have to feel a certain way. You don't have to portray yourself in a certain way. Mm -mm. If, like, do you guys remember the first time you like had a big laugh after your dad died? Almost immediately. Yeah, almost immediately. Yeah. <laughs> Was I in the line at Taco Bell about to get the worst diarrhea of my life and yeah. end up in the hospital? Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. I literally watched Craigslist Killer, the Lifetime movie, on my computer. That's a fire movie. As they like Wait, buried his Wait, I have never seen this. This Trashed is the it. second tragedy of the video. First of all, I texted my boyfriend because I was just like, I don't want to bug him. Like. Wait, you texted him to let him know your dad died? Yeah. That's how you let him know? Yeah. And he called me and he goes, what is wrong with you? BT dubs, I'll be back next week. Also, dad died. Texted. Oh, these are apples and honey for you. Um, oh yeah, oh. <laughs> My dad used to make me apples and honey. Oh, that's so sweet. And this is pesto mozzarella <gasps> for you. <laughs> oh my God, my dad used to make pesto. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm just straight up interrupted you to talk about cheese. No, you're fine. I want to talk about cheese till I die. Till I die. <laughs> 
You know what I did right after he died? I went in my bedroom and I journaled and I wrote down everything, all the details. Damn, all that's my a good feelings. idea. And then I sent it in an email to myself and was just like, okay, when I need to look it up, I will look it up. And have you ever looked it up? No. I, I wouldn't have either. I mean, and but there I will be a time you want to. Which is yeah, great. exactly. But I was just like, okay, and now I get to like, because there's this element of like, if I forget, I'll forget him. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to carry that. So I was just like, I'm going to write it. And then the end, like that's it. Death well, there's level. a tip. Now, also another tip. I'm from Michigan. So anytime I would oh. go home to see my dad, he had Parkinson's for 18 years. And for 18 years, I basically went home almost every other month. Towards the end, like, I started making a lot of like videos for Instagram and then I did stories and people were always like, I love the stories of your dad. Yeah, what's your dad like? He was like a silly, like dry, goofy guy. Didn't say a lot, man, a few words. What was his name? Harold. And what's your dad's name? John. John, mine's Frank. Classic. Oh. They're so, just classic dads. Yeah, yeah, Harold, like I feel like they all hang yeah. out. Yeah, oh, they're, in, they're, in, they're, by the way, they're all together. I, that's something I believe too. 100%. Like when when people with dead dads get together, all the dead dads get together wherever they are. And it's I like, like that. I feel like I that's so funny. I feel the exact same way. And I feel like it's like a play date. Like as if we were all like four and the dads kind of just like have to be there. <laughs> and they're like, so um, what's 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 yours do? And like, oh, it's just Camino. Like, oh, mine do. Oh, yeah, no, no, we met. It was just always like I would shave my dad's face all the time. So I would do videos on like how to shave a man's face. <laughs> And your dad is so like, cute. and like making her dad laugh. Yeah. So I always do this thing where I go, all right, dad, Sophie's choice, me or my brother. <laughs> he would go, uh, I'm like, I know it's me. All right. I'm like, we Sophie's, don't, don't choice. Have to say Sophie's choice, me or mom. And then my mom's in the background. She goes, I write the checks. And then my dad goes, that's right. She writes the checks. <laughs> my dad, like when I would come and see him, oof, he like was so excited. Like, uh, and he was in a nursing home and all the nurses knew me and all the nurses were like, honestly, you don't live in Michigan, but you are the best daughter. Aww. They're like, you come and see your dad more than people who live in Michigan do. But anyhow, guy had a great sense of humor. Hold on, I do remember that. Hate to dive into this. Hate to put a pause on this story. As I was going into Starbucks, this girl had stunning hair. Yeah. Like the kind of like coppery orange that it, like you would imagine on a princess in Ireland. Oh. And I was like, oh my God, your hair is so beautiful. She goes, yeah, I know it's my natural color. I was Whoa. like, wow. Whoa. Wow, wow, wow. There is she goes, nothing she goes, more Both deserving. my sisters are blonde and they sit in the chair all the time. I was like, well, have a nice day. Ew, what is that? <laughs> you guys have been friends 14, for a minute. 15? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. For yeah. sure. Okay, cool. Yeah. It's cool. I hate her, but yeah, yeah. So you gotta keep some people. Are absolutely cannot stand her. Bad time for my dad's Father's Day gift. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funniest thing that's ever happened. Look at Sorry. like okay. this board that I, I made a salami made. rose. If you guys want to see how I made this board, you can click yeah. on that video. This is some like RTF like. Shit. I'm, yeah, I'm really impressed. Can we just point no, out? You. Did you cut out star shaped? Cheese. Because I had star-shaped crackers and I was like, that'd be cute. Star-shaped cheese. <laughs> Grief really is a son of a bitch. Dude, it's it's the craziest. Cause I don't I don't even what's it what is it? Is it a stage of life? Is it because grief isn't an emotion. I guess grief is like a state of being or whatever. Because there are times, it's been 10 years for me. So like I've been through Father's Days without him. I've been through birthdays without him. Right. And then last Father's Day, for some reason, I was like living my life up until like 9.30 PM. And then I was like, <sighs> like yeah. broke down. And some days like, you know, some like big events that happen, totally fine. Doesn't like, doesn't not affect me, but it's not like top of mind. Yeah. And then other times it's like, it's been 10 years and I still pick up the phone to call him. Hmm. And that, oh, has that happened to you yet? I, I, well, for the last few years, I couldn't even call him because he could he had Parkinson's, so he couldn't really pick up the phone. So I had to like call my mom who would like, she'd go to the nursing home every day and then I would talk to him when she was with him. Got it. Yeah. There was, he had a phone, so sometimes he would try calling me and I'd try calling him, but he, it, was, it was just too hard for him to pick sure. up the phone. Yeah, I, I still have his phone number programmed in my phone. Mm -hmm. I think I I'm need never to. gonna unprogram it. Oh, I deleted mine. <laughs> I, I don't think, I, I think I still do too. He still has a Facebook and his birthday pops up. Oh. And. Is that just so you won't forget it? Yeah, it's because I'm like, wait, who? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Your dad had a Facebook? Yeah. That's crazy. Well, that's a my whole dad still called, other can of worms. My dad called texting faxing. Shut up. I swear to God. So I'd like go to my friend's house. We live pretty close, so I'd walk there. And he'd say, fax me when you get there. And I was like, hilarious. Yeah, my dad's an Aquarius. Aquarius is one of my favorite signs. Aww. My um, boyfriend's an Aquarius. Oh, Aquarius are good people. I've never met an Aquarius I didn't like. My dad was a Leo, and I'm Same. a Leo. Really? My dad was a Leo. When was your dad's birthday? July 24th. That's crazy. I, my, my dad was only like five days older than me, so every time it was my birthday, it was his right after. Uh -huh. So that was always cute, and we were always like Leos together. Oh, I love that. <laughs> that fire energy. Big time. Leo's another one of my favorite signs. That's like, I. Although I have to say, if my mom sees this, she might be like, hey, it's the 25th, because I'm so bad with dates. I get my boyfriend and I are get our anniversary wrong every single year. This year, I posted it a day early, and I didn't realize it, and he commented underneath. I had this like sweet Instagram post. So nice. And he commented underneath, and it's like 12 years, and he <laughs> comments underneath, hey, it's tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what? Are your favorite foods and what were your dad's favorite foods? Ooh. That's a good question. Thank you. We would always make curries. I mean, curry's not weird, but like for where we grew up. It was odd for him to be making it. Yeah. <laughs> like he was like, he was always like, uh, you should taste my curry. And I'm like, or we could go to like a restaurant with someone that knows what they're doing. He liked like mixing weird foods together and like. Did he cook a lot? Who cooked all the time. He loved food. Ooh. He loved food. And like, oh, like my mom and him in college, they would make what they called chice, which is just like cheese, un like caramelized onions. Cheese and ice. And ice <laughs> and like rice. And they would put it in like a cast iron so it got crispy. Mmm. And like throw whatever else in it. Mm. <laughs> what was your dad's favorite food? Oh, my dad was a trash monster when it came to food. Um, my dad loved Costco hot dogs, pizza, yeah. uh, grilled cheese, uh, macaroni and cheese, oatmeal for breakfast. We always loved oatmeal for breakfast. Who does? Like a ton of butter and brown mm -hmm. sugar. My dad hated mushrooms. Like hated them to the point, hated mushrooms and bell peppers. I feel like every dad loves them. mushrooms and bell yeah, peppers. Yeah, my dad, my dad, cool. loved, loathed and detests. My dad loved olives. Mine too. Um, uh, he loved all seafood. Oh yeah, seafood was like a big. Dads are big seafood people. They're big because they get to like put the lobster in the thing and go and watch it scream, and they're like. <laughs> My dad would make um, uh, linguine and clam sauce, Same. and he'd like he'd like get the clams, and he'd be like, "Now look, when they when they die, they're gonna open." I was like, mm, "Okay, if they yeah. don't open, no need." Me like seven crying, like six hours later, I'd be like. There was never extravagant cooking like that in my home. Like my mom and dad both worked. Yeah. So we had like a nanny or my grandparents. Like that was it. And the grand and my nanny, nanny my nanny was like, you have not you were not making you anything. My nanny was just like, here's a Pop Tart. And I was like, okay, yeah, Pop Tarts that. are my favorite thing in the world. What um, flavor? Like, I have a true brown sugar. I have a true addiction. Like to the point where I can't have them in the house because I will eat the whole box. Mm -hmm. My dad worked in like the truck industry. Like oh, cool. he worked in like auto parts, uh, um, truck repair. Whoa. My dad was like a very like, you know, like blue collar, like came home dirty from work kind of oh, guy. Detroit. Oh, Detroit. Yeah. Oh. Like he never made a ton of money, but he was like always like, he was the dad who'd like wake up early and fill my mom's car up with gas. Like wake up early, go wash my mom's car. That's so My mom sweet. literally never pumped gas a day in her life. What about your dad? What was his favorite food? What's yours? My favorite food, very unfortunately, was the spaghetti and meatballs that he would make. Oh. So I'll never have that again. And you have, no, but you have a video making. I have a video making it. Um, By the way, my dad, one of his, absolute favorite things in the entire world was uh being dead meatballs. sorry being dead yes <laughs> i swear to god when my dad died i feel it was just like ah, oh, it's like a permanent nap like, dude like this. low key i think that sometimes too like my dad would always say that and now i get it now that i'm older i'm like oh my god he's been right this whole time my dad would always say irene never fucking ends it never ends irene because he would be like Doing the dishes, then picking us up, then going to the grocery store, then cooking, then cleaning up after. Where, dinner. where, where did you grow up? I grew up here. My dad's from New York, and my mom's from Texas. Okay. And they met Jesus. with us. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. My dad was a dying breed. My dad yeah. was like, my dad was the guy who like, if he saw somebody stranded on the side of the road with a flat tire, he'd be like, need help? Lunch help? Like literally, like Aww. just the most helpful man. Like he's the guy who would like, if he saw like an old lady having a hard time crossing the street, he'd pull the car over, and get out, help the lady. Like That's he's so sweet. Like, he was. Literally the nicest human being I have ever met. Like if you were in Michigan 
and you were like in, you know, two hours from my house and you were like, I'm, you know, stranded in a snowstorm, my dad would be like, I'll go get her. Like, <gasps> no question about it. And your dad was a sweet tea. My dad was, my dad was an angel in his own way. Cool. Like he would have picked up my friend but complained about it the whole way, the whole mm -hmm. way there. Mm -hmm. Yes. As soon as she got out of the car, and then for the next nine years. Yeah, yes. that's funny. He was a big complainer, which was very funny because he was the funniest person I've ever met in my life. So like, I don't mind complaining if you're no, funny. No, exactly. You eat when, That's uh, how I see myself. Like I'm, I'm bitching and complaining the whole time. But you're funny. But I'm making it fun. So nobody cares. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't for a couple of years till I like started living on my own and stuff. Where I was like, yeah, it never doesn't. Fun. And yeah. You know what he also used to say too all the time, which was like after he died, obviously very upset. <laughs> he'd be like, anytime my brother and I would get upset with him, he'd go, "You're gonna miss me when I'm gone." Oh shit! You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. And I was like, yeah, no shit, I'm gonna miss you Are when you you're sure gone. Sure, your dad wasn't. But right now you're being an. Your mom is like really bad at revenge. I know. Like, I'll show them. She I want to not hear anything she's bad. She's so saying. bad at revenge. She's so bad at it. Revenge is an art. It My really mom is, is too. I'm, that's why I'm like as passive as I am. Because mm. she's like, you want to be upset about that? That's I'm, like, it's so also a very attitude. Texas thing to be mm -hmm. like passive. See, I went to like so many psychics to try to like speak to my dad after he died. And every time I was like, so does he like feel bad about anything? And she, and then they've always been like, well, he's at peace now. And I'm like, well, that's not what I asked. I asked how yes. bad he felt about ruining this day yeah. for me. I was like, um, I'm talking about the parts where he lied. Cause my dad was like, my dad was a good guy. And it's taken me like, he was like a very classic baby boomer mm -hmm. who like felt like he couldn't be two things at once. He was like this like artistic guy that loved writing and poetry and you know, had like a real like zest for life. But then like, you know, having a family, he was like, well, I can't be, you know, and providing for the family is like, well, I can't, be. I think there was something that was like, I can't be both. Mm -hmm. And so he like suppressed all of that and had oh. this like double life. He was also an alcoholic, but he had this like double life. life. Yeah. I don't think he could like, I, I don't think he knew how to integrate the two. Mm -hmm. So it was so many secrets and it was so frustrating. By the way, it's so funny to me. Like, that's how little men can multitask. Yeah. It's so true. I can't like poems and be a father. I know. It's like, like at the end, it was like frustrating because there was like very little closure on things. Mm -hmm. And my reaction to sadness is generally anger. Mm -hmm. So I'm just fuming in general and was like, I'm gonna see a psychic and I'll get my revenge. <laughs> And it was like, and every time the second was like, he loves you so much and he's at peace. And I was like, is he sorry? <laughs> like, oh, I behaved so insane. And I, I did the best that I could. And I, I did really show up for like my mom and my sister. And I was there every step of the way. And I was like, to him, I was like loving <laughs> and kind. And like, I showed up and had boundaries and like really like did I'm proud of how I behave, but I did have some moments where I was like, I'm waiting. And my mom was like, he has cancer. And I was like, well, well I'm waiting. Well, he was talking about sports like a moment yeah, ago. Yeah, so. interesting. What <laughs> a great excuse. Oh, oh, mm. But it's all the process. That's like, all, that's what we were talking about before. Like the whole grief process. It's like, if someone was like, you're a monster, I would never be able to move forward yeah. and like have clarity on that. I would just hold that inside and never process it. Yeah. I also know he loved me so yeah. much. So there was like, and he was always so so supportive and like so like I I never even when we like butted heads I would never question that he loved me. No. Yeah, but I was just like, why? Are you like your dad or are you more like your mom? I'm I'm definitely a hybrid, but I'm definitely more like my dad. I had such like a flawless relationship with my dad. Like there was literally nothing wrong. Like my dad, love that. my dad yelled at me and hit me once because I kicked him in the balls because he was telling me I had to get ready and he like put me up on the counter. He's like, you have to get ready. And then I kicked him and that was, then he hit me like reflexively. Sure. But other than that, my dad's never yelled at me, never, nothing. And my mom was like very verbally abusive and like she hit me a lot. A, a few years ago, I had to reconcile with the fact that like my dad didn't stick up for me and my brother when my mom was being like an abusive mm. maniac because mm. um, my dad was scared of her. Um, so there's that part of me that's like, he, no, 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 he didn't, he, sh he should have stuck up for my brother sure. and I, instead of letting that happen. But other than that, my dad was like, 
truly just like the most perfect man. Like he he was pure love. I feel I feel that way about my dad. Like he he yelled in a way that was like I feel like the only way I can describe it is like very like East Coast. Like that's just how he that, that was just his volume. He, literally. Like he 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 would have never said something to me in the realm of like you're not worth it. I like he would never yeah. verbally abuse. It was just like a lot of loud. Yeah. A lot. He loved me so much. He loved my brother and my mom so much. And it was just like very loud love. <laughs> but I like I like a loud love. My dad was a quiet love, but I like a loud love. Oh, I like loud love too. My dad I, is the kind of person, this is like how, he was the kind of person where like, he could be screaming at me and I could like do something stupid and he would start laughing. Yeah. Like, and I always like appreciated that. Well, I'm getting the Twizzlers. Hell yeah. Oh my God, do you want to show the stunning cake that you made please? Sure. I mean, Lindsay, for real. Dude, that's so pretty and flat. This is a chocolate. Look at it. Peanut butter. Cake. I mean, it's unreal. You crush that thank you so much right. but what's something that your dad taught you or like a piece of advice that he gave you that's always stuck with you I think oh my god it's so beautiful so yeah so something that my dad taught me well and I don't think he ever even intended for it to be like a thing he taught me it was just something he would always say anybody can be smart or interesting or know a lot about the news or politics but you cannot teach somebody how to be funny you're either funny or you're not, and that's the only thing that matters. <laughs> Which is probably not the I most- I wish your dad could attend some open mics and let everybody know. <laughs> I know. And it, it's just not something that can be taught. So to me, it's just like the most special thing that you can be. Mm. And so when I meet like truly funny people like you two, it's like, oh, like they've got like something so special. Mm. And I think that not being able to be taught something is very you. cool. What about you I guys? Think, I think humor can be taught to a degree. Is it? I don't. Yeah. I think you can be taught how to write a joke. I don't know if you can be taught how to be funny. That's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, like instinctually. This is unbelievable. Thank you. Well, yeah, what's like a piece of a piece a piece of advice or wisdom that your dad gave you? My dad never really like said anything specifically. He was like a lead by example kind of guy. I love that. I think the biggest thing is is being gracious. Um, mm. like saying please and thank you always. Mm -hmm. My dad was really, he, this I know, this he did say, you're never better than anyone else and no one's ever better than you. Like you treat people with the same respect, you treat a person, you know, making your food at Burger King with the same respect you would treat the president. Oh, that's so sweet. You're just, you're, you're equal to everyone. My dad would always say you're not allowed to make fun of anybody until you make fun of yourself yeah. first. And I was Aww. like, that I like. My dad, my dad was very big on just doing that. He never said it, but like, yeah. that's, that's how I learned like humor. Yeah. My dad was so <laughs> always down to make oh, fun of Oh, he would make fun of people. Yeah. He would you just have to people. be ready to make fun of yourself yeah, yeah, but first. He, like if yeah. you couldn't take a joke, yeah. my dad's like, well, you're not allowed to make jokes if you can't um, make them. Yeah. I don't know if my dad ever gave me like advice advice because I would have been like, F you dad, but he definitely was like, well, we, our thing was bowling too. Mm -hmm. We would go. Was bowling or bullying? Bowling. Bullying. 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 Oh, me and Dad. Uh, we would go to the park. <laughs> and we <laughs> would kids cry. We would bowl, and so he taught me how to bowl. Same thing with me and my dad. Really? <laughs> with bowling? Yeah, my, my, dad, my grandpa was a bowler, so everybody was. So was my. So everybody was bowling. Everybody my dad bowling. could have been a pro bowler, easy. He, That's so hot to me. Oh God, no. Real question, was your dad hot? No. I think my dad was a little hot. I believe that, because yeah. you're hot. Was yeah, but you're hot My dad was the, the, was the most handsome man I've ever seen. You ever met girl? Yeah. He was pretty, he was pretty attractive. See, that's what I mean. That's my dad. Oh my God. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Wow. <laughs> that's my dad. Oh my God. He was just like a, like a dark, handsome oh. guy. Okay, sir. Okay, Mr. Then, mustache. Me. <laughs> my dad older. Awesome. What are you talking about? I your dad's mean, cute. Her I dad's mean. hotter. So far, her dad's winning. Listen. Yeah, no. I my mean, little five-seven New Yorker. Oh my god, he's so. He looks handsome. like he looks like a mobster. I love that. Yeah. I love a mobster. He looks, he looks like Clark Gable. Like he was like Clark. Yes, uh -huh. yes. He looks yeah, exactly here. like him. That's my dad. I mean, so Clark Gable. What up? Was the mustache his signature? Yeah, always had. I've never seen my father's upper lip ever in my life. My oh, mom's no. never seen it either. No, no one's ever seen it. Has no idea. He never even like shaved it. No, never, not once. Never, not once. And well, then when I would shave my dad's face, 
it was the mustache is done in like a very certain way. So I have like a set of scissors and a comb. Did so you I have ever to f it up? No, no. It was like it was like my mom was always like, if you f up his mustache, I'll murder you. you my know? my dad would always have stubble like this. Uh, fucking, and he would, I fucking. He would come dad. up to me and rub it on my, my face. My dad would do that to me too. Is your dad? Is your dad the kind of guy who would like it had five o'clock shadow? Yeah, he would get five o'clock shadow and he, he shaved most every day. Every once, every like probably four or five months, he'd let it grow out a little uh, bit. Or he'd do like a, like a, a, a something fun with yeah, it. Yeah, one of these or like, I don't think he ever did a mustache because I don't think he had like a mustache like your dad where it was yeah. like, Poof. my dad, yeah, my dad. Dude, my dad was, my dad was just saying, my dad's hair, he had hair the day he died. And he was like, a, he had a furry chest oh. and we used to call my dad the woolly bear and that I call my dad Papa Bear. So that's uh, and then you know what I just found out? That's crazy. My grandpa, his father, my mom looked at, uh, she found old paperwork that my dad had and we just found out that his middle name is Bear in German. So. Yeah. That's so sweet. Yeah. I love dad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get a tattoo in my dad's handwriting on my arm and it's right here and it's gonna say Papa Bear. Because oh, if, man, baby. Because, because if I ever get married, then he'll be on my arm to walk me down the aisle. And then oh. if I never get married, he'll just be on my arm to walk me through life. Oh my God. Oh my God, Nicole. I'm not gonna hug her. <laughs> <laughs> It's the little things that are just every, those are the things I remember, like the apples and honey. Yeah. Yeah. Like he would make me, every single night if I was studying late, he'd come up, wouldn't say a word, would never tell me he's doing it, would slice up the apple with honey, he'd bring it, he'd just put it on my bed, and then walk out of the room. Oh. Didn't wait, didn't wait for a thank you, nothing. Thank you for sharing that with you. Thanks. So, just a reminder, tell the people you love that you love them. And, and tell the people you hate that you hate them. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Keep that one to yourself. Don't do that unless you're Lindsay in traffic. <laughs> My dad would approve. Yes. <laughs> Thank you guys for spending your Father's Day with us. Thank you guys for spending your special days with me and sharing all of your fun stories. They are so, so nice. Nicole, thank you so much for Thanks. coming. Thank you, thank you. You guys check out all of Nicole's stuff right here. We'll put it right there. And Lindsay, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. My sweet angel. And we're gonna put all of Lindsay's stuff right here. Please make sure that you check out these sensational women who are so funny, so talented, such joys to be around, and have made my Father's Day better, and I'm sure that they made your Father's Day better. We'll see you guys next time, and have a good one. Bye. Bye. Bye.